This is probably the strangest wedding I've ever shot. And not because of the wedding couple or the location or the people, but my wife is pregnant, 38 weeks, almost 39 weeks, and we could have a son right now. And I'm shooting a wedding, how about that? <laughs> but I've booked this wedding like a year and a half in advance, so gotta shoot those weddings. So I'm hoping my wife is not gonna uh, be in labor right now. I have to check if, wait, they're gonna check if I've got a son. No, still no son, so I'm still good. <laughs> About this wedding, we're in Rotterdam, Dutch city, a big Dutch city, and we shot the most beautiful wedding ever. And the cool thing about this wedding is it's also a religious wedding, and I'm not a man of religion, but I shoot a lot of um, religious weddings, and I'm fine with that because I think uh, love transcends everything. And it doesn't matter if you believe in a God or not, don't believe in a God. I think love is everything, and that's what I do. I shoot love, 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 love. And also a great thing, I'm gonna shoot hybrid photo and video. With the help of my assistant, Sanna, she's over there. You can see her because she's holding the camera and she's complaining that the camera's quite heavy. She's holding because my camera and I've got, I'm a big man with a big camera. So she's complaining that the camera's quite heavy, but we're gonna shoot hybrid photo and video. And I'm gonna show you the photos and the video and all the great stuff. And now I've talked too much and just let's go on to the vlog and show you all the beautiful things I've done because it's so beautiful. Yes! We start this day at the bride. And as I told you guys in the intro, I shoot photo and video at the same time. And I will tell you when I'm shooting photo, when I'm shooting video in the video itself, in the vlog itself. We started with the bride popping a champagne bottle. And what's very important when shooting these kind of photos or shooting multiple um, brides and bridesmaids and stuff, try to keep them close together because the, the left one's already standing too far away. So in this case, I put them really close together because that's the most beautiful thing. It's like a like a commercial. You want them to squeeze together to get the best results. After the champagne popping, it was time for the getting ready for the bride. So it was a very tiny room with a lot of um, stuff in it. So I cleaned up the room a little bit by putting some stuff out of the room to give myself some space. So I'm using the light. The only light I'm using is the right side. So the light from the window. Sometimes I'm shooting against the light. And sometimes I'm shooting with the light. So I like to shoot against the light because I think the vibe of the, the light is so interesting. But also in this case, I'm shooting from from the light source so you get a very beautiful skin and just keep playing around with the light so that's my light source and i'm very aware of the light source i'm using we did a little first look with the bridesmaids because they wanted to see the bride of course and it was such a fun reaction of them Then the groom arrived, I instantly started shooting uh, videos when he walked up me so to, to create a story. And in the back you can see someone walking through the, through the video. Uh, you always have to be careful of people walking through the video so they don't mess up your shots, especially with video. It's difficult to get someone out. In photo you can just clone someone out. But when you're shooting video you have to be aware of everything. Video is way more difficult than photo point of where you're shooting. So this is the first look and I always make sure I get them both in the shot. And when I do a first look, I always shoot video because in photo we can do it again, but in video I want a true reaction. This is their true reaction. She's grabbing him and I just let her, let her do what she does. I, I don't give a lot of instructions because they know what they have to do. She has to see him. That's the only thing that's necessary. And they had the most genuine, perfect first look ever because they just reacted so beautiful he stepped a little back to, to to look at her she did a little round to show him how beautiful she looks and in the back you can see people uh, watching through the window you have to be very uh, careful for that so you don't focus on the people in the windows and they sealed it with a beautiful kiss it was a rainy day so our initial plan was to shoot outside but it was so rainy so we went up to this location because it was the only location there was uh, dry and beautiful so you can see on the video it's still a bit rainy but i don't mind a little rain but too much rain is not great for the camera uh, in this case i want to shoot with the light so the light is coming from outside to the inside so that's, so that's perfect you can see some stuff in the background the light through the window from the inside and the little sign in the back but i try to just put the sign behind them so you don't see it on the photo 
And with video, I should shoot a little bit higher so you don't see it. So I'm always aware of what's in the background, so the background isn't disturbing. And look at this. The wind was carrying her uh, feel. And look at the, the girls on the left, they were just mesmerized by how beautiful she was. And I, I like that, because in the back of me, there's this very busy city, it's Rotterdam. So there's a lot of people uh, looking at her, looking at us. I'm very used to it, because it's fashion, and fashion is very normal to stand somewhere, just people looking at you. Feel shots. If you do feel shots, I've did a lot. I did hundreds. Very important to do it yourself. Hold, hold the feel yourself. Is it feel? Feel. I, I think it's feel. Hold, you, hold the feel yourself. Don't let someone else hold it because it feels unnatural. So hold it up with your hands. Shoot through the feel. Play around with it. Get a feel for it. That's the best way to make the most beautiful shots as you will see in the results. Also a cool thing. I will put a link in this video of the wedding film I shot. Because it's a very, very cool wedding film. If you shoot a groom, photograph or film. Let the groom do stuff. Just let him rock around. He did a perfect job. He's also a very handsome guy. Looks a little bit like Brad Pitt from some angles. Just let someone walk around do his own thing and shoot and try to read his face try to read his way of moving and then we get great shots and big shout out to Sanne she was my assistant I will link her in the in the description of the video she's also a very great photographer and we did a little first look just there because why not it was such a beautiful setting in the middle of the city special people who come from the city just immediately recognize the city so i use a lot of bokeh so the signing in the back uh, the, like the blue signing in the back don't, doesn't really you don't feel really see them that's very important and the ring was gone yeah so we could shoot photos outside uh, eventually so um we manifested that we said we're going to shoot outside because the rain is going to stop and the rain did stop and we were able to make those beautiful shots in the streets look at there um we don't have a lot of Cities have ha skyscrapers and stuff because in the Netherlands is quite flat. Uh, so Rotterdam is always a great city to shoot in because they have just a beautiful skyline and just gives such a different vibe to your photos and videos. I, I would love to shoot more in these kind of settings. And then we had the church. Uh, the church of the couple was Christian, so they had a church wedding. And here's the groom with his mother. And after the groom, the bride arrived with her father. Beautiful, and he literally gives her away. So he puts her hand in his hand, and I still think that's a very beautiful thing to do uh, as a father to give your daughter away. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a religion thing or not, I think you, you should do that as a father because you're her protector, and now he's responsible to be her protector. And what was beautiful about this uh, uh, wedding, this church wedding, they were singing a lot and um, having fun. And uh, I've did a lot of religious weddings, but I I think it was my favorite because they were so, so happy. It was so contagious. Everybody was being happy. They were singing, uh, singing out loud and having fun. And they were really, really celebrating love. And that's the most important thing. And as I told in the intro, love transcends everything. That's, I think uh, love is the most beautiful religion there is because everybody believes in it. I think everybody should believe in it. This was really cool. The bride and groom also sang. So I don't have the really good uh, recording of that because uh, this is my GoPro recording. But they can really, really sing. So I, I had goosebumps while standing there on the stage with them. Uh, also my assistant, Sana said, oh, they're really good. I said, yeah, they're, they're really good uh, singers. And it's so great to do this with your, your partner, to, to sing and celebrate with everyone. I think to really add it up to the vibe and, and, uh, and the celebration of the day. And one thing I always do, like so they're standing there for the official part. So it looks like I'm messing up with the camera, but I'm putting her dress straight. I can't stand if the dress is not uh, perfectly aligned. Or uh, I think as a photographer, you should put the dress straight so it looks just way better when you're shooting photos or video. This official part when they uh, give each other a, a big yes. And on my camera, as you can see on the right side, I've got filters. So I use a lot of filters. If you're curious about that, go follow me on Instagram because I share a lot about those filters. Uh, like mist filters and stuff to give a certain vibe. So you'll see that my GoPro images and my Canon uh, images are way, way, way different. I'm someone that's really good for a vibe in a photo or a video. I don't care about the ultimate sharpness of a photo, because what is a sharp photo? It's the most 
boring thing ever is a full sharp photo. The more interesting photos are the photos where there's movement. Like your eyes, when you're focusing on something, the rest is unsharp. That's what a lot of people forget. So sharpness is boring, unsharpness is interesting. And also use an ND filter so I don't get too much light in my camera. Even inside I use an ND filter, a very small one. Also outside I use an ND filter. So I have very much control about uh, on the light. So I always have the same kind of light for my video, especially. So this is one of the last moments in church. Everybody is giving them blessings and it's a very beautiful moment. So everybody uh, wishes them uh, to their God the, the best life together, uh, something like that. And because I, I, I love when people celebrating, dancing. So when you're married, there's one thing when you get married, if you're a bride or groom, if, you, if you're married and you walk to the aisle back and you are married, celebrate, sing, dance. And we end this beautiful day with a big portrait of the family and friends. Because my time was up, very short wedding, but still a very, very beautiful wedding. Thank <laughs> you.